We have more on the lawsuit against the FBI over how the agency mishandled the Larry Nassar investigation. A group of more than 90 women filed the lawsuit saying that the FBI needed to act more quickly and could have prevented their abuse if they did. They are seeking a $1 billion in damages. Nassar is the former USA Gymnastics and Michigan State University sports doctor. FBI agents first received accusations from these girls about Nassar in 2015, but Nasser wasn't arrested for a year in 2016 during an investigation by Michigan State University Police. The FBI is the place that we go to when there's a big problem. They brushed us off. It was just extremely frustrating and almost scary because you want to have trust in people. You want to be able to believe that people in power are going to do the right thing and hold those accountable. Under federal law, the FBI has up to six months to respond to the claims. A Southfield man is now facing new charges, new sex assault charges, after he allegedly attacked another woman at Detroit Metro Airport. Prosecutors say 32-year-old Raymond Jackson Jr. attacked a 34-year-old woman from Westland last month inside the airport's Blue Deck parking garage. It's believed that he came up behind the woman, grabbed her by the hair, and then slammed her head on the ground before sexually assaulting her. On Wednesday, we learned that Jackson does have a criminal record of stalking and domestic violence. Right now, three women have personal protection orders against him.